Jackson County Sheriff's Department added 16 new junior deputies to the force Thursday. The second annual Junior Deputy Three Day Academy just wrapped up, and our Victoria Bailey was there to catch all the action. Yeah, it makes me a lot closer to them and know that I can depend on them and that they will be there when I need them. Winston County Sheriff Jason Pugh and his deputies are working to build a relationship with kids in the community. Hello, officers. How, how, how are y'all doing today? How, how are y'all? Can, can I help you with something? Junior deputies are between 6 and 12 years old. Pew says seeing how the job is actually supposed to be done instills understanding and trust at an early age. That gives them a good impression right, right off the bat. They, they know what we're here for, they know what we're here to do, and they understand that we're here to help them. That we're not the bad guys that's going to take them to jail or that's going to take mom and daddy to jail. That our goal is to actually help them with, with what problems they're having in their lives. Chief Investigator Connie Hampton led the deputies through the mock burglary investigation. He says he's happy to bust any myth about his job. We get to hear a lot of things from the kids and that let us know what they have been exposed to. And, uh, and again, try to overcome those misconceptions that they have. Because TV is it's, it's, it's not real life, and they see a lot of things that happen that in real life we can't do. Pew says overall he hopes the junior deputies walk away with a sense of comfort after getting to know their local law enforcement. About 80% of our forces come down, and, they, and they've actually got to meet them. And they know uh, Jimmy Lover, and they know Mark Gregory, they know Jason Pew. They, they know us, and they know who they're calling and what they're going to get when they call. In Winston County, I'm Victoria Bailey for WCBI News. The kids officially became junior deputies in a graduation ceremony earlier on Thursday afternoon.